Hey everybody, Kevin here with another Note Investor Tip of the Day. One of the things I do when I'm reviewing the initial numbers on a deal, say for example, I'm on Paper Stack and I'm going through looking at the preliminary numbers, love that they have them on the front page there. Allows me to do my ITVs, investment to balance, all those ratios. But I also take it a step further than most people uh, who just take a look at the note as is and what are they buying. I like to go back and say, well, when was this created? And let me check their numbers from the beginning. So I was showing one last night on my group session and when you ran the numbers from what they said was the original loan balance and the interest rate that was provided, the term comes out to a new no note being originated for 167.66 months. You ever heard of such a thing? No, because when people do an origination alone, it's 60 months, 120, 182, 40, 360. Those are the most common things. It's very rare that you would see, yeah, we're gonna originate this loan uh, with an unequal payment, by the way, $354.72. Um, per month, it comes out to 167.66. It's like, no, this loan, it tells me right away, this loan was modified. So it probably means that the loan went bad at some point in time. Now they've got the loan uh, re-performing again. So I need to see the actual modification to tell me the new terms and everything else. And sure enough, when I got into the paperwork, that's exactly what the case was. They had modified the loan. And by the way, in this loan, they dramatically shortened the loan, but they also did a principal reduction and an interest rate reduction. So it completely changed the terms. But now I know more about the history. And again, I say it all the time, in this business, to truly master it, you have to know the story. And that's a big part of the story. And also the numbers. They all have to make sense. So there's your note investor tip of the day.